Yeah. Hey everybody. How we doing? This is the second word of the day. Cause your girl slaying. <laughs> slaying all the time. Um, I was inspired to make this video because um, I'm eating a yogurt and I like forgot to ask for a straw or forgot to ask for a spoon. So um, I'm eating it with a straw and then I was kind of thinking about how you know like yeah that's funny but it's also like a metaphor for like ow mother effer um like how sometimes you have the resources but you just don't have the right tool in life um oh that's pretty good right like you're just coming up with that like at lunchtime um <laughs> whatever <laughs> I am pretty stoked about it, and I got, look at how gorgeous this day is, what the heck, it is so beautiful today, it is so beautiful today, I can't even get over it, um, <clears throat> and then, um, it kind of made me think about, too, like, just some more Proverbs verses, I don't know, I'm really inspired by Proverbs right now, and I'm trying to be like a Proverbs woman in like garments that cover and like it's a good it's a really cool leaf I'm like turning and I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of beautifulness because of it um so yeah I'm just kind of sitting and I, I felt like the title to this video I can't even get over how beautiful of a day it is right now Look at these blue skies. I just, I like the big buildings in the Bronx, too. It makes me think of, I don't know. I don't know. Like, just like, look at all of this. All these buildings and stuff. This is gorgeous. I don't know. I just like brick and blue skies and, like, the project look. Like, it's just cute. It's just classic that's what the word I was looking for is but yeah so like sometimes we're even hanging out with people that we think are for us or or like are our friends or have our best interests at heart um but they really um don't and then we kind of become like the company we spend time with and in proverbs there's a verse that says um like when a man sharpens his iron, so a man sharpens his brother. inspired by proverbs recently right now but yeah i'll go i'll go back to that verse in a second I'm trying to find the iron sharpens iron yeah mm. mm -hmm. yeah there's just so much good in yeah this was actually the verse i was thinking of this morning um before a crash this is proverbs 18 12 before a crash the heart of a man is lofty before glory there is humility yeah dang that's good I'm trying to figure out how to like get this Oops. not anything to put it on dear jesus give me the wrist strength to hold my laptop um the yogurt originally inspired this <laughs> this video, um, and we sometimes have the resources, but we don't have the right tools. Um, so, like, I'm like halfway through it. I've like been able to manage to like <laughs> eat yogurt with a straw, like using the straw, um, and. Sometimes when we're in these moments of like, okay, I think I have the right resources, um, and not the right tools, like we can have the option to speak life into it, um, 
And that's why this verse here is Proverbs 18:21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and he that is living, it will eat its fruitage. So yeah, our our words are more powerful than we can even imagine. Um, and it's gonna be like a quick word too, because like. It's totally on the spot and like impromptu. I was literally just eating my lunch and then I was inspired by the yogurt idea. Um, so sometimes too, we think our friends are our resources and or our like our, our support network, our family. Um, but <clears throat> that's not always the case. And so for anyone that's in like a season of confusion or uncertainty, um, be aware of like who you're spending your time with because that can that can influence that can influence what um, you become like you know it's influ it's influential upon you and like your behavior and your mannerisms um, even picking up slang like vocabulary um picking up an attitude like spending time with people it, it's more influential than I think we even realize so that's why I really like this verse I just had it come on okay <laughs> Proverbs 27 17 by iron let's wait for this to go by itself is sharpened so one man sharpens the face of another so yeah you want to be spending time with people that are going to be sharpening you and um, helping your intellect you know and improving the mindset of where you're at currently you want them to be sharpening you um, that can be even like kind of even like a form of tough love like they're they got your back on and they're yeah, they see, they see, like, your potential, and they want to help you become the best version of you, like, they're sharpening you, um, so, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of a hodgepodge, but I'm, I'm making it work, I'm making it work, <clears throat> um, so, if you're in a certain area of life right now, too, I'm just kind of going off of Proverbs, I'm really inspired right now by Proverbs, is that when we're in areas of our lives that it's like, <clears throat> I wonder if we can like, here. This one's... <laughs> there we go. There we go. Gosh, I couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, so yeah, if you're in an area of your life where you're like, okay, the resources are, are here, but I just don't have the right tools. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it kind of works. Um, you can know that you're able to kind of like get yourself out of that stitch <clears throat> by acts of faith. And as we all know too that faith is dead without works of or acts of faith. Um, let's see here. Proverbs 28, 20. A man of faithful acts will get many blessings, but he that is not hastening to gain riches. Hmm. A man of faithful acts will get many blessings, but he that is hastening to gain riches will not remain innocent. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So kind of like... I found another verse, too, that I underlined. This was kind of just like my... I underlined a bunch last night when I was reading in bed. Um, and it's, it was talking about... How money can be related to the corruption of a, of a soul. But this is the positive side of it. Uh, at Proverbs 22, 4. The result of humility... And the fear of Jehovah is riches and glory in life. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> I 
Um, there's another specific, specific verse that's on my, my noggin that I just saw that made a lot of sense, and it was talking about ostr being ostracized, which is like something we were talking about earlier. I'm gonna find it. Jesus, please help me find it. The one, thank you, Jesus. The, this is Proverbs 15, 27. The one... I'm just waiting for the plane to go by. The one, this is Proverbs 15, 27. The one making unjust profit. The one making unjust profit is bringing ostracism upon his own house. But the hater of gifts is the one that will keep living. Yeah. So, like, we have to make money honestly. Um, and and there is nothing that, that good or bad that happens that doesn't um, be, that isn't seen by Jehovah. Um, here we go. Perfect. Thank you. Jesus, you're so totally with me. Oh my gosh. Um, Proverbs 15, 3. The eyes of Jehovah are in every place, keeping watch upon the bad ones. Um, and the good ones. Keeping watch upon the bad ones and the good ones. The eyes of Jehovah are in every place, keeping watch upon the bad ones and the good ones. So that can, you know, like we're talking about money, we're talking about how to make money honestly, um, with good means, and that's part of resources and tools. So maybe you think you have the resources at this moment in this chapter of your life, but you're well aware that the resources accumulated thus far um, have been an unjust profit, and now there's a, you're experiencing, you know, this is like a potential example for it anybody um you're experiencing warfare um and deception and confusion um and ostracism and upon that <clears throat> upon that person individual who who would who is doing this or or entertains this it, it's going to bring ostracism onto that person's household um so we need the right tools. We need to be able to, so the right tool would be a spoon and not a straw. You can make it, you can kind of make it work with the straw, but you're not going to get, you're not going to get the granola, the good stuff, the pineapple little bits, the cut up pineapple bits. And so the tool that we need is prayer, fasting, And faith and then acting on the faith because faith without act is dead yeah um, and then Ecclesiastes. Yeah. So Yeah, this is the um so in the other tool that we're gonna need, um say say that you you feel like you have most tools, but this tool is like super, super, super helpful. It's it's loving kindness, loving kindness, gentleness, like the, the spirit of patience and the fruit of the Holy Spirit, like those are tools we can at any time revert to and 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 seek um, and ask God to help bring into um, our spirit and raise us up and and have him act in our lives um, with his will and, and then raise his will in us um, up and then take our will out but loving kindness is something that will always reflect God's love 
So loving kindness this is Proverbs 20, 28. Loving kindness and trueness, they safeguard the king. And by loving kindness, he has sustained his throne. So you're never going to go wrong if you keep practicing patience, love, loving kindness, gentleness. Um, I like this so much too, this, this, this uh, verse. I read that last night. I thought it was beautiful. The beauty of young men, and this is 29. Proverbs 20, 29. The beauty of young men is their power, and the splendor of old men is their gray-headedness. Um, so this life is a blessing through and through from day one till the very last minute, second we take our breath. We are uh, blessed to have this chance to live and breathe um, and experience what it really means to love. You know, the only way I know anything about any kind of love is because God showed me first. The only way I know anything about forgiveness is because God showed me his mercy and first. Thank you, Jesus. And the something I prayed for this morning too. Um, and I because I like the way it was written, I thought it was gorgeous. Um, may loving kindness, this is Proverbs 3 3. May loving kindness and trueness themselves not leave you. Um, and that's that's been that's really strong for me right now because I I've been lacking um, my normal energy to even just say thank you um, to somebody who's who's trying to help me and like like or even just. I feel like I've been lacking my normal energy to have the loving kindness and I, I, I was fearing it was leaving me and I didn't want to turn bitter because my situation had turned awry or you know became more difficult and you know it was mad windy yesterday and stuff and like I couldn't I couldn't find the library at first and you know I don't have a phone and like most people like would lose their <laughs> in my situation right now like but I know I have I'm like well trained in no phone and no Wi-Fi and no food and all pain like or whatever you know like I'm trained to handle this from all the past seasons of my life and that's why too God will never send us into a situation where we're not equipped so it's not always it's not always like super easy to like to try and find something but you just ask people for directions and you know God will always send strangers to help too in that situation and, and change their hearts to give you the information you're you're looking for and things like that um, but I was fearing because I was just experiencing so much oppression and uncertainty that it was leaving me. That like my my good manners, my 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 jubilance, my um, gratitude, my my gentleness. I was fearing it was leaving me, and that like, living shelter like lifestyle and like homelessness was like gonna make me bitter, and like maybe I'll just become hard. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I was literally kind of like on those <laughs> timelines and stuff, like thinking like I was worried that I was, yeah, getting a little jaded because it, it, it was rough. The first four, three, four nights, you know, because I tried to go out to Brooklyn first and then they sent me back to Bronx, but I'm trying to get out of the Bronx because of a stalker and being followed. And he was, he was following me yesterday, but and honking and stuff. And I was just, but I need to get a safety transfer, and it's like a whole administrative de ordeal in order to go to the Brooklyn shelter. Um, and he could just easily follow me in Brooklyn too. So, like, what's the point? God's protecting me either way. So, I would, yeah, so anyway, all of that can kind of make it hard to remember your pleas and your thank yous. And um, but, like, for example, this morning too, I just kind of like held the door open for somebody who was coming into the bodega. And you'd be surprised. You think that's normal behavior, but actually, in New York. Um, people really are a little bit abrasive and opening the door for somebody else is is practically the same thing as handing them a five dollar bill in some people's mind it's every man for himself and I'm taking care of me and that door you can open it yourself like it's just kind of like South Bronx too so but I, I held the door open for this guy this morning and he was so appreciative and I was like no problem I'm coming into the bodega and I see it looks like you're right behind me and walking up the little 
the ramp so yeah let me just hold it for you it's no problem but it, and it made me so happy that he was so appreciative he said oh thank you so much and, and it just made my morning that much better and that was I was getting my coffee that was the day I got my coffee it's like little things man I'm telling you so Proverbs 3 may loving kindness and trueness themselves not leave you tie them about your throat and I liked that specific wording of how that was written tie them about your throat and that makes sense because like this is where we communicate and so if I tie and if I imagine like and visualize that I'm tying trueness and loving kindness about my throat then it'll be secure and it is like God's like spirit and the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Holy Spirit it's like with me and I just I love being inspired by <clears throat> some of these verses because it's so well written and then let's end with this um for for the word today what are we at 20 yeah um do not become wise so proverbs 3 so yeah whatever situation you're in whatever whatever chapter you're in if you're still alive today um it's likely a testament to how strong you are if you're still here in this these end times it's likely a testament to how strong you are how resilient you are how good of a problem solver you are um and with that said, sometimes we can try to handle it with our own understanding and try and come up with our own rules, but we must revert back to what the Word is reminding us here so powerfully. Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, take notice of him, and he himself will make your path straight. Do not become wise in your own eyes. Fear Jehovah and turn away from bad. Fear Jehovah and turn away from bad. I love that. May it become a healing to your navel and a refreshment to your bones. Ooh, I know I'd be feeling refreshed. Dang. Dang, man. Dang, man. You know what I'm saying? Again. It is so beautiful and nice out, and I just feel good. I just. Yeah, and I keep, you know what, too, you guys I want to share with you? I keep finding pennies on the ground, um, and that's a way that God communicates with me, like little coins that I find on the ground. And it's, um, I always look at the year the penny was made, and I keep finding pennies um, that end in four, like 2024 or something. Um, and I, I don't know why, but four makes me think of his holy protection. And, like, I just know that's, like, his way of saying that he's always with me. Um... I'm not sure why, but I feel like I've looked up four before, and that's kind of what it signified. And even this morning, before I, um, before I even, uh, I went to the the third floor bathroom because the animosity on the first floor is so bad. I I'm afraid to use the first floor bathroom. Um, so I, I went to the third floor to brush my teeth this morning and like use the bathroom and stuff, and I found a penny, um, in like the corner, um. Uh, and so God will just like always lead my steps and then tell me and remind me in the most precious and sweet ways that he, he's with me and I'm not alone. Um, so we always have to look for God and seek him because he's actually here in every single moment. Um, we just have to look for it. So I wanted to yeah, make a video about Proverbs and like resources and tools um, and consider if you feel like you're not moving uh, forward as, as fast as you'd like or... Um, not seeing results as fast as you'd like consider what your resources are currently and if you're using the correct tools or not such as loving kindness faith uh time in the word um and being in the secret place with him and intimate intimate time with god um and be aware too that resources can be um people in your life that you see as support networks but might not be actually sharpening you as we as we read in proverbs so that's that's kind of like my little um inspired impromptu lunch word yeah <laughs> peace out y'all you know what comes next stay tuned for more awesome content i'm like super excited i feel like really good things are about to happen um but yeah you know what comes next stay safe stay blessed stay chosen peace